whole numbers and their properties. The numbers that we use for counting 1, 2, 3 etc. are called the counting numbers. They are also called natural numbers. If we add 0 to the set of natural numbers, we call it the set of whole numbers. That is, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 etc. are called the set of whole numbers. Commutative property of addition We can add any two numbers in either order and the result will be the same. For example, 7 plus 4 is equal to 11 or 4 plus 7 is also equal to 11. This is called the commutative property. Associative property of addition If the operation of addition is to be repeated twice among three whole numbers, then it can be carried out in any order. For example, 3 plus 5 plus 9 is equal to 8 plus 9 which is equal to 17. Again, 3 plus 5 plus 9 is equal to 3 plus 14 which is again equal to 17. This is called the associative property. Properties of zero A number does not change its value when zero is added to it. Hence, zero is called the identity of addition. A number remains the same when zero is subtracted from it. A number becomes zero when it is multiplied by zero. Zero divided by any number is zero. A number cannot be divided by zero. In division by zero, a number becomes indefinite. Properties of one. A number remains identical when multiplied by one. Hence, one is called identity for multiplication. A number divided by one remains the same. One is the first natural number. One is a factor of every number. Tests of divisibility. In order to find out whether a number can divide another without actually doing the division, we use the tests of divisibility. This enables us to save time and labor. The rules of the test of divisibility are shown in the table below. For example, 290 is divisible by 10 because it ends with 0. 21,762 is divisible by 9 because 2 plus 1 plus 7 plus 6 plus 2 is equal to 18 and 18 is a multiple of 9. 2,20,245 are divisible by 5 because they end with 0 and 5.